Hi everyone, Port ISM. Welcome to the first update of 2017. It's the 4th of January, it's Wednesday. Um, hope you all had a great new year. You didn't get too drunk, you went too silly, you didn't get into trouble. And uh, here's a great new modelling year ahead of us. 2016 can go itself. Uh, let's move on and upwards. Uh, out of the old, in with the new, for sure. Um, so yeah, I hope you all behaved. Uh, I had a quiet night in. Especially with the time of Hannah and James through the day and the evening. Uh, I was out here, I had the issue to finish, I was on a deadline. Uh, I was hoping to get it done so we'd have a night relaxing, but no. I was working on this literally until quarter to twelve that night because I had a deadline. To, sorry, quarter past eleven that night. Trying to get a finish on my own deadline, as you do. Um, James wasn't too good, so Hannah was busy with him. So, in a way, it kind of worked out. Not for the good, but it kind of worked out. Uh, thankfully, he's feeling a bit better now. Um, but yeah, he had a couple of rough days, not feeling too good. But he's definitely on the mend. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have a good new year. Like I say, um, the live shows, uh, we've decided to continue doing them on a Tuesday and Friday. There'll be no Saturday shows anymore on YouTube. It's easy for us guys, you know, it's just myself, not just myself, it's a live crew as well. So it's, it's a you know joint effort from us all. Uh, I couldn't do it without these guys. Uh, they make the show what it is, as well as you guys watching and commenting as well. So we decided to do it on a Friday and a Tuesday, as usual, half 7 UK, half 8 Europe, one thirty Central US. So they'll continue all this year. Um, we'll keep bringing you as much content as we can. They'll run from half seven every night until we run out of content. Uh, more so on a Friday because we're kind of scripted. Not scripted, but we've got an itinerary that night. Uh, we will run just until we're on time. Could be half ten, could be eleven, could be twelve. It's just one of those things. So yeah, make sure you keep tuning in for those. What we are going to do, I'm going to test it in a minute very quickly, is we're going to go live on Facebook every Saturday. Well, I am. And whoever's in there with me. What that means is there's another show. Uh, people on Facebook get to view it. It's ISM members only. So it's a bit more private. Um, and it's a bit easier going. All, the only person needs to be there is me. Because all I'm doing is reading a few comments on Facebook. The camera's on my bench. You can see the MacBook in the background with the Hangout on. It's an off-air Hangout. And anyone can join that one and chat along with us. Uh, it's not as bad. Um, so the guys are normally with me on Friday and Tuesday, they don't, don't have to be there. Um, so I'm going to do that. So I'm going to try it. I've tried it on the phone. It works good. The screen's a bit small and the audio is not great. So I've got the iPad, which is just charging right in front of me now. As soon as I upload this video, I'm going to go live on Facebook just as a quick test and see how the iPad works. It's an older iPad, so it might struggle a little bit. We'll see. Um, but that's what we're going to do. So Tuesdays and Fridays on YouTube and Saturdays on Facebook. That's what we're going to do for the foreseeable future. So hope that's okay. Obviously, some people will not be able to watch it. It's just the way it is. There's nothing we can do. We can't please everybody as much as we'd like to try. Um, so we hope you understand why we're doing it and hope continue to watch us because it's great fun. We enjoy doing them and uh, we know you guys like watching by the comments. So that's great. And that's it. Uh, the other thing as well, um, literally last Friday, so not even a week ago, we put the uh, Ultimate Apex on pre-order. The first lot of airbrushes sold out. We sold 50 in like six days. Uh, we ordered another 50. Uh, we put them on pre-order on Friday, and the last one sold last night um, on pre-order. So we've got we sold another 50 in like oh, not even five days. It's absolutely fantastic. So if you got your name down for those, as soon as they come in stock, they'll be sent out to you um, as fast as we can. Uh, there's another order gone in, so I'm sure we'll do another pre-order at a later date. Uh, but they're proven amazingly popular, absolutely fantastic. It's a great airbrush, it's a real good workhorse, solid airbrush. So you're not going to regret buying it, but we're, I especially am astounded at how uh, quickly they sell. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, and the feedback so far is great, so that's really good, that's what we like to see. Just keep an, keep an eye out for the next pre-order, and if you want one, I would seriously get your name down quick, because otherwise they're going to sell out again, I can guarantee it. As usual, Young P Retail, we're open all over Christmas, all over New Year. Um, Hannah's been working her socks off, uh, getting her orders out. And for those that had an order over Christmas, you got a Christmas card, which is very nice to Hannah. They've stopped now, so obviously Christmas is over, and we're back to your normal handwritten notes. And we've started to include a little extra, a little bag of sweets as well, just as a thank you. That's it. It's only a small gesture, but hopefully um, it'd be appreciated by a few. So thank you very much. Thanks for helping uh, support ISM and UMP over the last year, and hopefully we'll continue through this year as well. So that's that. Uh, new GBs started in six. We've got the Winter is Coming uh, GB, which has started uh, 1st of Jan. The end is nigh. The post-apocalyptic SIG has started as well. 
and my own Stuka SIG started on the 1st as well. SU27 ended on New Year's Eve night and the Stuka one then started New Year's Day. So any Stuka, any scale, any manufacturer. The build section's up on the forum, so if you want to enter it, pop over. I think there's about 18 people already in it, which is great. Uh, it's actually more popular than the actual proper ISM ones, which is phenomenal. Uh, so you want to build a Stuka, head on over. I've already started mine, which I'll show you in a minute. Join them with the fun, and join them with just a, a nice, friendly, uh, unofficial SIG. You can post your progress on YouTube, Facebook, but it needs to go on the forum as well to qualify. And that's it. As simple as that. So that's it, really. Um, not much else to talk about, really. I'm not in the post. I've been a good boy over Christmas. Uh, I haven't been over the past couple of days. There's a few things on the way. Uh, so when they come, I'll do another bench update and we'll have a look at what I've got. Some quite cool stuff. Uh, but what I think we'll do now, we'll head over to my bench and have a look how the builds are coming up. Right, well, first off, I'll look at the uh, SU27. I've got it on the turntable, um, just because I could, really. Um, you can't really see it that well, but you can see a bit of it on the uh, camera if I move it a little bit. Um, so yeah, this was supposed to be finished Christmas Eve. That was the deadline. Uh, a lot of people hadn't even got close to finishing. Um, so I extended the deadline by a week. And we probably got another three or four people actually finish, including myself. Um, so I extended to New Year's Eve. I think because of that, um, and myself and a lot of the guys kind of lost mojo a little bit because we had that break over Christmas for a few days, coming back to the same model that we would have liked to have finished in the first place, kind of sapped the mojo a little bit on it. Absolutely beautiful kit. This is the Hobby Boss 48 scale one, brand new kit. Uh, there's a review on the channel I did a while back. Simple, simple kit to build. Goes together. I can't even think of a single problem on this thing. Um, nothing at all. Beautiful, beautiful kit. Um, out of the box, it builds up flawlessly. The decals aren't too bad either for Hobby Boss, which is quite surprising. Um, let me knock the lights off. Is that a bit better? Get whites out the camera a little bit. Um, I added a uh, resin cockpit and pilot, you can see in there. We'll take it off in a minute and have a closer look. Um, I added uh, resin road wheels. Um, what else did I add? Uh, pitot tube, metal pitot tube, and Bergmot decals. Probably well over 400 in total, including the ordnance. Took me forever, um, but well worth it. I think the detail looks great. Um, painted it up using Acan uh, acrylics. Uh, weathered using UMP dark dirt and concrete mix to give a slightly lighter tone. Don't forget you can mix our washes to make your own colours. Um, and that's it, just an all round really, really good kit. Burner cans and the heat shields, all painted using alkalides, extreme metals, um, shaded different colours, so on and so forth. And it's just come out great. I really enjoyed the build. It's one of my favourite aircraft. Um, what's better looking than a flanker? Not much. Absolutely stunning aircraft. So very, very happy to get it done. Like I said, just seemed to drag those last few days. It really did. Uh, and like I say, I finished with 45 minutes to spare on, on New Year's Eve. Uh, and I'm happy with the result. Very happy it came out. Happy with my paintwork, my weathering. Uh, it's weather, but I don't think it's over the top. And uh, the camera scheme looks good. And the ACAM paints, again, love ACAM paints. Absolutely beautiful. So we'll take it off its turntable. And uh, we'll have a look at it on the bench. Okay, so this absolute monster doesn't even fit in camera. Um, like I say, beautiful kit. I'm very happy with my camera. Uh, it doesn't really show that well. The pictures show it better. Uh, well, the camera's not too bad, actually. Um, so we went with uh, one of the schemes that was included in the aftermarket decals. Um, shark mouth. Well, it's a snake mouth, actually. Uh, very cool. We've got the cockpit, resin seat, resin pilot. Beautiful. The kick cockpit isn't that bad at all. Uh, seen a few people complain about it, but I thought it was actually quite good for a plastic cockpit. We've got the burner cans, heat shields, and underneath we flip it over. Same underneath. There goes the ca uh, cockpit seat. Uh, the wheelbase, obviously, with the signature red landing gear doors, all the ordnance under there. A very, very well armed aircraft. And like I say, well, well over 400 decals on this thing in total. The absolute mass of them. I didn't glue in the seat. Um, just in case I wasn't happy with the pilot, but I am. So, beautiful kit. One of my favourite, favourite aircrafts. It fits in the display case lovely. 
very happy with how it looks. Um, uh, if you want to flank her, you need to get this kit. If you're into your Russian aircraft, you uh, you really need to pick one up. It's not that expensive. I think you pick her up about thirty, forty pounds. It goes together, no bother at all, and uh, it just builds up into a superb kit. It really, really does. Um, I think we are. Let me have a look. Give me one second, guys. Builds we had. 15 participants take part um, and of those we had six finish um, so we'll go through quickly have a look who finished uh, but we won't actually I'll shout them out and then we'll go through at the end and have a look I'll do a little mini slideshow I've got the camera on my face so Jamie Dart finished he did the same kit as me absolutely beautiful kit Jamie did I finished Ivan finished as well fantastic job uh, Brett did the SU-25 from Edward, the KP reboxing. Uh, John Sharp, again, Sharpie, did the same kit as me. Beautiful job. And Guy Mack did the little Trumpy kit, I believe it was. That 172, he was the first to finish, and he did a cracking job as well. So once we go through this, go through all the bits to look at. We'll go back to the camera, and I'll do a little mini slideshow. We'll have a look at everybody's work um, and see how they got on. There we are. So that's the SU, beautiful kit. Very happy with that one. Takes pride of place in my display case. And uh, top, top kit. I highly recommend that one for sure. Right, the other thing started, the Suka Sig, like I started, said. I'm building Trumpies 132. Um, again, another beautiful kit. Uh, just not without tissues, but I'm sure we'll be just fine. I'm going to pop the other light on. So we've got all the copy built, all the cyborg detail, uh, all the parts glued on, the seats made, the rear gunner seat, uh, copper halves are off. They've all been primed, UMP Black Primer. And sprayed in Acan RLM 66, dark black grey. Um, so these are ready for detail painting. I might add a little bit of wiring actually, I wasn't going to, but I might. Um, we'll see. Um, and then we detail paint it, we can do some dry brushing, give it a wash, bring it to life a little bit and get that in. Uh, like I said, the fuselage half's been done as well. We've got the front nose section, the cowling, all built up, ready to go. Engine's all built. Um, such a shame this, it really is. It's quite a detailed engine. It's not too bad looking. It fits in beautifully. There's these little guides on the exhaust sides that slot in there. Absolutely beautiful. So you slot them in, get them lined up. That should go right forward. Prop uh, pin comes out the front. One's glued perfectly in place. The problem is you can't see the engine anywhere. Uh, what an absolute shame really is but it's in there it fits well um so that's ready to go i'm not even going to bother painting the engine like i say you can't see one single bit of it what i'll do when i prime just make sure i get primer in there um before with exhaust it's a little bit of a shame but it seems to be going well uh together well i know a few people are building them uh i know there might be some issue on the wing roots very similar to that su2 oh sorry the il2 i was building um so now so i've been building as well mainly on the live shows on a tuesday um, we'll zoom in a bit for this one. Hopefully, we're not whited out. We knocked out of the light off as well. There we go. This is Bandai's um, Y Wing. So, this is the Clip Together kit from Bandai. A um, bit difficult to get a hold of in the UK. They pop up on Amazon Prime from time to time. Uh, if not, you probably have to import it or be lucky enough to find a UK seller to have one in stock. So, I've shown this before, but I can't remember where I was at. So I built it all up, um, the front section cockpit and all the rear has been primed, um, painted in Mr. Hobby H311, which is like an off-white grey colour. Um, I then, oh, luckily all the different colour parts come off. Uh, these are coloured blue and yellow as they are. Primed them up, painted them the colour I thought was more suitable. So top and bottom piece, that needs gluing in more there. So they've all been masked and painted up. So the cockpit's done. Cockpit was all painted up. Dry brushed them and got some detail. Um, so nice little job there. And then what it did to so all the white areas, the off white, I used Tam, uh, Mr. Hobby flat white and dry brushed it all. So we've got the nice dull colour. And then on the raised surfaces, we've got some uh, white highlights as well. Uh, probably doesn't show too well on camera, but it is there. So that's... Uh, all painted up, all the blue and yellow on the engine nacelles were uh, masked off and painted. 
bit of a pain to the yellow. The blue was easy because again, all comes off uh, like a modular system. And uh, last night on the live show, I spent a few hours painting up all the rust colour on all these pipes and pipe work and what have you. Um, and that's it really. So that's it all detail painted to a degree. What I'm going to do probably later today is gloss coat it, let it dry overnight, and then hit it with a darter uh, wash um, to get it really grimy looking. And then once that's dry, we can come back in with the airbrush and put some blaster marks, some wear and tear, a bit of chipping here and there. Um, I should do the chipping first, really, actually, before the wash. Um, and that's it. So not far off being done. It's been a great little build. Like I say, you can pick her up. I think you can get them on Amazon for £35 when they appear. Um, but they don't last long at all. None of the Bandai stuff does on Amazon Prime. But highly recommended. Definitely one of the more complex Bandai kits. Uh, I know John Sharp bought the X-Wing and the TIE Fight and took him an hour to build. This took me two nights to build because all the pipe works separate. It's quite an in-depth little build, but a cracking little kit. And uh, one of my favourite Star Wars vehicles. So very, very, very cool. So there we go. That's everything I'm working on. The 109, I did a bit of work on last night. I built the engine up, the bulkhead. Uh, so we're all ready for the next video of that. That saved me a little bit of time. So I'm hoping to have a video very soon for you guys. I know a lot of you are waiting for it. I do apologise. Um, and that's it, really. A few of the builds that need to be finished off. SU-24, my Escort, my bike, my Hind. Uh, there's a MiG-21. There's a few on the shelf that need doing. But I will get to them at some point. So there we go. So we'll head on back over to the camera and let's have a look at these finished entries in the Sukhoi Sig. So there we go, that's everything I've worked on uh, the past few weeks. Slow down a bit through uh, Christmas and what have you. Um, but hoping to kick it off in the new year now. And I want to get some of the Shelf of Doom finished. Oh, I've got a Tiger up there as well, didn't see that. A Tiger to do as well, I want to get those off the, uh, the shelf. There's not a lot of work to do on some of them. So I just need to pull my finger up my backside and get them done. And like I said, I'm really going to crack on quack. Quack on. I really want to crack on with the 109 vids. I enjoy doing them, but it just takes so much time to do. And it sounds like moaning, it's not. I really do enjoy doing them, but I need a full day of just on my own so I can film it. I can't just film it in one go. I've got to film, stop, wait. Film, stop, wait. It takes a long time to film, and then editing takes a few hours as well. So I just need to get it done. Uh, the next part will cover um, assembling the cockpit and the fuselage. Glue and clamp in the cockpit. Um, and I assembled part of the engine that needs doing. Uh, we'll paint, prime that, and paint some Miss Hoppy buffer balls just to show the effect you get off those. You can't see it in there anyway. We're going to cover it all up uh, and we'll show that. And that'll be the next part. It might not be a massively long part because I want to keep them in the res retrospective part. So, cockpit, two parts for that. Uh, Closing the fuselage up and the engine, a part for that. And then we'll have sanding, uh, filling, scribing for the other part. So that's what we're going to do. I want to keep them all in their part. So if anybody needs future reference, you can just go directly to that part, like on the old series. So they'll be as long as they are. They could be 20 minutes, it could be 45. But I really do want to get that one out. So hopefully in the next week, we can get that done. A few reviews I want to do. Hoping tomorrow to get the uh, um, 262 review done and get that up as well. Um, the new Revel one looks a great kit. Um, and that's it, I've got loads of reviews to do. It's just a time to find to do them. The live shows take a lot of time, uh, which is great because I enjoy doing those as well. Um, but I really would like to review a lot more kits, but it's finding time. Right, so the Sukhoi Sig, uh, we had six finishers, including myself. So we had Jamie Dart. Jamie's only a young lad, I think he's 16, uh, nearly 17, I think. I might be wrong. Uh, he's not been joining us for that long, he's been in the hangouts with us. Uh, off air, which is unusual because I don't normally let anybody under 18 in there. Uh, but Jamie joined, he's a very, very mature guy, he really is for his age. He's a cracking lad as well. I've met him in person, him and his dad at Telford, great guys, and he's an avid modeler, he really does enjoy his modeling. So Jamie's more than welcome with us, and he did a stunning job in his SU. Again, his mojo just started to wane a little bit at the end, but he's pulled through, got it all finished, did an absolutely stunning job. Um, so uh, as we talk about people, I'll put the pictures up so you can see their builds. So there's Jamie's one. Uh, cracking job, Jamie. Uh, job, Jamie. Well done, getting it done, buddy. Uh, fair play to you. Uh, we had Ivan, <coughs> who again suffered from the same problem as well. Um, trying to get the mojo to finish was just a bit of a killer. Uh, but Ivan finished literally in the nick of time. 
and uh, he did another great job as well. Um, he used a modern SU-27 colour set. Um, so this is where I liked the buildings. They were all different. There was none that looked similar or the same. It was great. Uh, so I did the modern colour set, so slightly different colours. And again, great job. Um, Ivan really knocked it out of the park. So well done, Ivan. Uh, proud of you, buddy, getting it finished, because I didn't think you would, I'll be honest, and you did. So well done, Ivan. Uh, we had John Sharp, a uh, prolific builder. Um, he did a great job uh, on his. Um, same sh uh, snake mouth as mine. I was going to do the shark map, but just the decal didn't look right, so I kind of mixed and matched my decal scheme for the shark, uh, snake mouth as well. Uh, but again, John did a cracking job. Uh, nice camo work, nice weathering. Absolutely superb. Brett did the aging KP Edward Rebox of the SU-25. That was actually my kit, funny enough, I sold to Brett. So he built that. It's quite a rare kit as well, so fair play Brett to building it, not collecting it. Um, yeah, Brett built it. Obviously, Brett's mad busy at work. Um, his job does stop a lot of his time. And fair play to Brett, he got it done. And he did a huge amount of work in the last day. And I mean a huge amount of work. So pat on the back there, Brett. Absolutely superb job, buddy. Of another one of my favourite aircraft, the SU-25. Awesome thing. Um, so well done. Obviously, there's myself as well. Uh, I was running late. I got it finished at the end, which is great. And we had Guy as well. Guy Mac, uh, the official uh, off-air hangout picture sponsor. Uh, if you look for the uh, hangout, you see a crazy picture of a madman pulling a funny face. That's Guy. And Guy builds, I believe it was, I'm just going to double check as I've got the page open. I believe it was the Trumpeter uh, SU-27. I'm going to have to have a look. Give me a sec. Caught me off guard. Uh, I know it was 72 scale. And yeah, it was the Revel 172 SU-27 SM. And he did a cracking job of that as well. Again, different paint scheme, different camo patterns. They all were different, which is exactly what we wanted. And well done to everybody. He did a great job. First person to finish, fair play to. Um, but well done to everybody that took part. Everybody that actually started the build as well, fair play to. I hope we see them finish at a later date. And congratulations to everybody that finished as well. Well done. So here's the Stuka Sig. Hope we see more of you guys in it. And that's it. So there we go. That's all I've got to talk about today. Keep an eye out on Facebook for any live uh, videos because I might do a few to test it. And if not, we'll see you on Friday. So take care, have fun, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.